Zell, good to have you back. You've been with us before, and you, you know, you've shared some insight in terms of what really is the investor focus here. Right. What any of this is going to mean for the trial that's going to take place a little mm -hmm. more than a month from now in Delaware. Right. Um, you know, one of the things in the letter from the uh, Judiciary Committee to actually Prague Argawal, but related to today's testimony, was about these whistleblower disclosure claims that the U.S. Federal Trade Commission asked Twitter whether it fully deleted data of users, and Twitter deliberately misled the FTC by stating those accounts were deactivated. Right. Is this something investors should be concerned about? Well, only to the extent that they're that they allege some sort of larger behavior on behalf of the company, that they engaged in some sort of fraud and deception. You know, one of the things that I would be listening for if I were the FTC is <clears throat> Zatko made some claims about foreigners being access, having access to data, including a couple of Indian um, uh, government individuals. And so I would be interested to see if he details that and whether these were things that were being considered at the time the FTC issued its second consent order in May, because in that consent order, they said they wanted to limit people's access to company employees' access to data and consumer data. So is this along the same lines that they were concerned about or that the FTC heard about? So I'd like to hear Zatko go into more detail to find out if this was something that might have been considered. In addition, that whether the company deliberately misled or hid information from the FTC or the auditors that were supposedly being reported to. Why deliberately misled? Is that an important component? Deliberate? Well, it would seem to me that they would be acting in good, bad faith and that does it indicate that they have to dig deeper? Is there some larger behavior on behalf of the company that, that would indicate that the information the FTC was getting was incorrect? What about the SEC, another regulator that could play a role here? Is there anything that might come up that perhaps the SEC would be looking at in terms of at least the allegations that, you know, they use statistics at Twitter that were, uh, I don't want to use the word fraudulent, but certainly gets to a level where the SEC would take a look? That would indicate that there's something that's material that's going on. That's a, that's a larger um, attempt to mislead the marketplace as to the value of Twitter. Now, this all plays into what happens in Delaware. And it seems that what's happening in Delaware seems to be a narrower question. Because at the very least, what the court decided last week is they weren't going to postpone the hearing. So that means that at least the chancellor has some view of the issues that's being presented to her and how she's supposed to decide. Do you, do you think, I mean, your background's FTC, but do you think the real, uh, what's on the line today is regarding Twitter and FTC running afoul of regulation or Twitter and a Musk purchase? Well, it depends on who you talk to. I think for the, for the senators, they're concerned about the larger issues about, uh, about foreign players being involved in our platforms. There's a hearing about something similar tomorrow. And don't forget, this is the committee who looked at the Russian interference into our elections. So <clears throat> that's what they would be looking at. The FTC has a narrower point of view, but it's an important one. And some information may be disclosed today that will prompt them to take another look.